dear collector of Kanyakumari, Mr. Aravinda Yes, dear Hari Balachandran, the CEO of uh, ICT Academy, my dear friends like uh, Mr. Balasubraniam, Kevin George, uh, Vijay Anand, Anita Selvin, and uh, Angelin Dayasilan, Sahida Vasim, they are all going to address in the sessions that are going to be conducted after this uh, inaugural program. Dear friends who are representing so many colleges across the state, and uh, people from ICT Academy as well as Elcott, good morning to one and all. I'm so happy to be here as part of this program. And I'm very happy that it is being conducted in Kanyakumari, which is the district I belong to. And uh, you may be aware that the ICT Academy is under the IT department of uh, Tamil Nadu. And uh, after me becoming the IT minister, in the first review meeting conducted, you know, I was very happy to know that uh, there is something called ICT Ex Academy existing in my own department. Because as a social activist and a political activist, whenever I go to the villages, I see the very big challenge before the government is giving employment to the youth. And as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, it's a major challenge. We have a lot of education institutions producing a lot of uh, students every year. But the problem is unemployment. So what to do with this thing? When I conducted the first review meeting, and I was surprised to note that there is an academy called uh, ICT Academy. Even though I was MLA for five years there, I didn't have a, a chance to understand the activities that was carried out by the ICT Academy. And uh, it was very much interesting to know that our past leader, uh, Talavar Kalanjar, who has been um, the visionary leader for uh, starting this uh, ICT Academy during when he was uh, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. And of course, once we got to know that uh, the ICT Academy is there to do something, you know, we put a lot of efforts. We had a lot of uh, review meetings. We made an assessment of what is going on in the ICT Academy. And we had interactions with the um, uh, academia. We had interactions with the, the industry. And after all these things, now we have come up with a very clear uh, uh, programs to do something with the, uh, this I ICT Academy. And we have a new CEO, Mr. Hari Balachandran, is in place. And he, has, he is putting a lot of efforts to bring this organization to the forefront. This year, I hope, we are trying to <coughs> have a center of excellence with R&D facilities. As soon we are going to establish it in um, Chennai. And uh, prior to this month, it was functioning in Elkhart premises, but now we have shifted it to the IIT premises. Now the ICT Academy is functioning with its own new office at the IIT premises of uh, Chennai, Alaya. Now let us see the um, need, what we have to meet with now. When we go to the people, there is a hue and cry that we need employment. There is a major problem we see. But when we interact with the industry, we see there is a lot of opportunities for uh, employment. And they need a lot of people for work. So they need a large number of talented workforce. The industry is in need. On the other side, we have the problem of unemployment. I heard a discussion with so many startup groups in Coimbatore. And in Coimbatore, when they had the meeting, the startup companies, they were telling that they um, face a serious problem of attrition. And uh, they have the similar kind of problem as skilled manpower is lacking. So th obviously, we can see that there is a gap, a skill gap is there. Now, how we are going to fill the skill gap? 
as our collector is telling, the technology is changing on a daily basis or a hourly basis or whatever it is. So we need to uh, skill, we need to upskill, we need to reskill whatever it is required. So that is the thing that we need to uh, face during this time because our honorable CM is very committed that he is repeatedly telling that we need to achieve a target of $1 trillion economy by 2030. And we need to provide employment to all the people who are unemployed. So how we are going to do it? That is a big question before us. There are so many emerging skills. There are deep skills. We need to train the, our students on that. Wherever we go, you know, we can see people with the certificates. In Kanyakumari, each and every household, you can see a graduate having a proper degree. But what to do with that? I have seen so many uh, uh, youths who go for masonry work, who go for a helper job with the engineering certificate with him. I'm not against it. I'm not against people doing any work. Every work is respectable. I, I don't have a difference of opinion in that. But if a person who is having a degree certificate and he's unable to find a job, and because of that, if he is going for a helper job or something like that, that has to be addressed. That is not a good thing. That is not a fair thing. So for a parent to educate his child to get a graduate graduation in engineering or something like that is a very challenging job for a rural poor person. Take for example, he may require at least for 5 lakh rupees to invest on his children's study to get a certificate. So after getting a certificate, after spending this amount, after putting all his efforts, if the a son or daughter is unable to get a job, what would be the, what is the situation? So it's a very pitiable situation that need to be addressed. On the other side, you know, as a startup telling, we are taking a, a candidate, we train them for a, a period of time, uh, like three months or six months or whatever it is. We invest on the training, and when he gets trained, he is being taken by a multinational company. So next, everything gets stuck. So we, we need talented uh, workforce to be with us. And uh, in the Connect meeting we conducted in the um, state capital, Chennai, it was a very nice uh, conference, and everyone uh, um, uh, was very appreciative about the uh, conference. But in the conference, you know, international speakers, they were telling that in the international market, there's a huge demand for skilled manpower. And the people who represented so many industries in Tamil Nadu, they were telling, we need a lot of manpower who are industry ready. So on the one side, it is very clear that a lot of uh, requirement is there with regard to skilled manpower. And on the other side, we all experience that unemployment problem is there. Now, how we are going to bridge the gap? Our collector is here, and uh, we are making certain efforts in Kanyakumari to provide employment to the rural people. Wherever, whenever I get time, we conduct uh, one uh, Thirvutalam. Thirvutalam means uh, what we can say, we're a solution platform. Myself and collector, we, along with all officials, go to your village. We sit there, we get the petitions. And uh, we try to address their problems. And you know, most of the petitions will be seeking job. People from various categories, 10th standard, 12th standard, but degree, post-graduation, engineering degree, in so many um, various uh, sectors they have got qualified, but they don't have a job. And uh, now the scenario is, say for example, there are so many widows, destitute widows. They are widowed because of this COVID pandemic or accidents or something like that. So, so many widows are here. They don't have a job. They are left without a job, even though they have some education or a certificate with them. They may have one or two children to take care. They may have a loan which they have borrowed to 
have a house so these people are um, facing uh, challenges like anything so, so as a government we need to do something for all these people so now the ict academy we are trying to launch a program where we are going to pick and choose people from um, in the vulnerable uh, groups like widows uh, destitute widows physically challenged transgenders and the unemployed youth and provide them with the uh, proper training so that they are uh, made uh, uh, industry ready with some skills in their side and the next thing is how we are go going to provide job to the students of various uh, colleges what we are going to do our honorable cm has uh, uh, given instructions that the it department should work horizontally with all the other departments especially the higher education department and department of employment and other things and we have started uh, working on that we have conducted certain meetings uh, along with them and we have planned to conduct similar kind of meetings with them and uh, fortunately uh, we are going to the it department is going to start a, a, a tamil nadu uh, technology hub tnt hub with an investment of nearly 65 crore this year it has to be announced in the assembly by me and we are going to start the institution in a 25000 square feet area that is being provided for us by the anna university in their campus so that will be a milestone achievement in the part of it department i hope so and we have a set of uh, advisors with this like people who sit here uh, vijay anand uh, uh, bala and kevin um, anita as well as there are so many other people like uh, iit director who have been my uh, advisors and they are also uh, giving proper advices to us now the cia is also working in close coordination with the, the it department of uh, tamil nadu once i became the uh, minister you know we have uh, established a very good rapport that is um, with the industry with the academic side with the total it sector and experts and everything we have a proper uh, um, what we say um, discussions periodical discussions with us we have um uh, come out with the uh, certain recommendations that also we are uh, taking it to the cm's notice and we are going to have a proper strategy to work out all these things so to achieve the goal that is being fixed by the honorable cm that is 1 trillion dollar economy we all need to work together and i am very happy to see that uh, the academic um, people eminent people from the academic side how come to participate in this meeting and i am really very happy about it and is a time that we need to uh, rethink uh, what we are doing because the honorable um, higher education minister is also um, uh, having lot of discussions with the anna university to restructure the existing syllabus i think and they they are trying to uh, incorporate what are the new uh, industry requirements with regard to skill uh, to in their syllabus and all that's that's also a thing that we need to welcome it and the it department is of course going to have a um, hand in hand collaboration with the the IC, uh, anna university and other higher uh, education institutions that is that are functioning in tamil nadu to uh, properly strategize for the future of uh, tamil nadu so i am so really very happy because this program as i told you earlier it is being in conducted in kanyakumari what we decided to conduct in kanyakumari it's the uh, please don't think that is as i am here it is being conducted in kanyakumari what we thought we have to we are all talking that uh, we have to take development to the tier 2 tier 3 cities so conducting everything in chennai will not uh, give a proper meaning to all these things so we have to be very practical so we decided we will take a connect program to uh, various uh, parts of tamil nadu as well as uh, the bridge program can also be conducted in the tier 2 tier 3 cities of tamil nadu in that respect only we decided to conduct this meeting in uh, kanyakumari and uh, it's a good thing that the people across the state will be aware of what is um, happening with the new government and what the um, new initiatives that we are taking 
and we are also very particular to um, bring in the my advisory council uh, they are advising me that we need to have a, a proper uh, um, zonal level um, networks like it councils at the zonal levels and we are trying to form six zones that is east west north south the center of uh, tamil nadu that is trichy and uh, chennai we are trying to have six zones where in future we are trying to establish center of excellence maybe if one center may have uh, uh, some expertise in artificial intelligence some in another one we can have iot in uh, another one we can have virtual reality or whatever it is in those ways we are uh, um, trying to explore the possibilities how we can bring up the it um, sector in tamil nadu in a very successful way i hope this bridge conference will give new insights for us to to make a proper plan to the state i thank one and all who have come over here to participate in the function i wish all the sessions go very successfully we have eminent speakers who have very good uh, experience in the field of uh, it industry and uh, once again i thank ict academy for uh, organizing this wonderful event thank you one and all